Hello, my lively lovelies, and welcome to Alive with Aaliyah. And um, boy, are we talking about life today. I um, ordered some living beneficial organisms to assist with gardening. Uh, I have a little bit of a spider in my issue. So um, I didn't know how to treat it um, without pesticides. I used some organic stuff first and didn't have a lot of luck with that. So this is me bringing out the big guns. And this got delivered earlier and we looked at it, it was on a really hot day. So I thought I'd spread the insects around uh, this evening when it's cooler so they don't fly away. And right now it's still not really that, um, it's not late yet. It's after five, but I thought I'd at least open the box, see if there are any special directions. Oh gosh, <laughs> we didn't have to get over. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous because they're alive. Oh, there's styrofoam in here. Oh, this is wild. I'm so, so environmentally friendly with my box of styrofoam. <laughs> so let's see here. Um, I ordered from Evergreen Grower Supply. It says uh, good bugs are good for your business. And let's see. I got some lacewing adults. And those are more for, that's not really for my spider mites. So I was getting, starting to get some aphids and I usually use ladybugs, but thought I'd throw these guys in the mix. So, oh, this is what we got. We got 50 spider mite destroyers. And that's <clears throat> Stethosaurus punctulum. As you can see, I did not take Latin. <laughs> um, and then, um, Another thing we got here was a bunch of little guys, Neocilius californicus. Apparently I bought a thousand of those, so they must be very small. And those are in some sort of um, vermiculite mix. I clearly don't know how to pronounce anything. Um, let's see. And the last thing was Ambulosus neocilius. Felicis, and I got a thousand of those in corn grits. So apparently I read a bunch of stuff about this and then you think this would be a good idea and that this would help with my issue. So I really, I really wanted to nip this in the bud. Oh, okay, so it's like a cooler box. First thing I see is it maybe an ice pack, a moisture pack? I keep thinking I'm gonna open it this time, it's gonna be something. Oh. Alright, next layer. This is we have a layer of foam here now. You guys. Okay, I feel like, you know, those Russian dolls. This reminds me of a birthday present I got. It was just like box in a box in a box. But it's important for them to travel, the bugs to be able to travel safely, right? So we got the peanut things. Oh my gosh, where are the directions? Like, help, I don't know what to do. freaking out like what am I doing this is like a paper sack oh my gosh this is too much like I'm they're living things which is why I'm stressing out <gasps> did 
This is the lace wings. They are very adult and very alive. They look like they could easily fly out of this container. I am so, like the holes in the top are, do you see, can you see this? Oh my gosh. So those are the green lace swing things. I'm really pleased actually that they, they look like they're in good shape. It looks like they made the trip very well. That's wonderful. Maybe there were actually directions on the front of it. I should have read that, right? I'm like, let's just put them away. Instructions. <laughs> That's what we want in life. Um, the adults are ready for use upon receipt to release. Remove the lid carefully within the release area and use the lid to regulate the amounts released throughout the target area. Eggs deposited within the container can also be released. Do not refrigerate. Okay, so I didn't see anything about time of day, but I still think uh, evening is going to be good. And I'm going to try to make sure very strategic about where I release them. I want to make sure that they um, have plenty of food, i.e. pests, um, to survive on. I want to make sure they make a happy, smooth transition. Okay. Very exciting here, folks. Very dramatic. Okay, so this isn't very scary. You can't even... Looking for movement. Um, this is the 1000 Neosuflisus. Mm -hmm. Gently mix contents before dispersing. So this is something I did get for the um, as a supplement for the um, the spider mites. So this actually looks pretty low key. I think that's going to be pretty easy to just sort of sprinkle around. Just says gently mix contents before dispensing. This is like a little, looks like a, like a spice salt shaker. <clears throat> okay. There's another one that's like a little salt shaker. It says gently mix contents before dispensing. I love that I don't know the difference between the corn and the vermiculite or vermiculite. Um, this one has California in the name, so I'm hoping it's good native stuff, <laughs> like I know. Uh, Neocelu, come on, Neocelus californicus. I like, I need to learn how to pronounce things in Latin. This is ridiculous. So the same kind of idea, and I, I do think this one was, um, you know, I think a better target for my, my region. But as you can see, I really wanted to, um, have a variety of um, methods. All right, so this this next one should be the big guns. The big guns. So I'm so confused. What is in there? Oh, they're all like little. They're so tiny, you guys. You can't even. All right, spider mite destroyer. I feel like this says like a stegosaurus, like it's a dinosaur, like forgive me if I end up saying that. Stethorus. Punctulum. Okay, so this has directions. Hold in a cool place and release beetles in early morning or late evening. I was like, oh no, not early morning, uh, but late evening will, will work. Um, open container. Oh gosh, I keep on being like, oh, there's bugs on it. It's like, no, there's bugs in it supposed to be that way. <laughs> I'm like, oh no. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Um, open container. Shake beetles onto foliage close to spider mite infestations. Place container upright among plants to release remaining adult beetles. All right. So now when we know what we're dealing with. Still feeling kind of anxious about all this, but I think the plan to to do all this in the evening is a good one. So I feel I feel like they're safe in the box for now. I don't know if I'm gonna like necessarily 
reseal them. We have a good, it's a good temperature um, where we are. This is like our little foyer, right? That I didn't want to bring them all the way into the house in case they got out. Um, but I didn't want to do it outside because um, I have absolutely no, I should have done it outside. Yes. <clears throat> Like my husband even like tried to come through here and I was setting up to record and he's just like, what are you doing? Uh, he's a sweetheart. He, he, he rolls with a lot of my, my wacky stuff. And I have bu bugs on the internet. <laughs> I don't know why I love buying bugs. It's gonna be so great. It's gonna be so great. We're gonna, we're gonna deal with our pests. We're gonna do it without pesticides. All of our little birds and butterflies and bees are gonna be happy. This is gonna work, right? It's gonna work. All right, I'm gonna try to show you some of the spider mite issues I'm having. I've been cleaning up after it, spraying it down with water, using the neem oil solution. So I've been doing a lot, so I'm hoping we don't find too much evidence, but it's been a recurring issue, which is why I when got the beneficial insects. So this is one of my Budlia David bushes, um, butterfly bush. And so this is one of the perils of using non-native species is they are more susceptible to things like pests. And as you can see, I have a number of pests going on, right? You know, there's like holes and stuff like that. But what uh, was one of my first indications was this yellowing a little bit spotted and then when you turn the leaf upside down can you see this oops um this isn't the best example it's not super bad just kind of like this weird splotchiness that almost has like a an orange quality see if I can find a better one and by better I mean worse so this one has that kind of yellow splotchiness with little tiny red bumps now fortunately I don't think I have any full-on webs covered with orange dots but it, I had those previously before I blasted them with water and here we have some Budlia David uh, where you can see close into the base of the plant there's webbing and most of the leaves have died off already from the damage so here we do have some mild webbing. Now, honestly, I can't tell the difference between spider webs and spider uh, mite webs. What I notice about some of these plants is they don't show any trouble on the leaves. So that is more confusing for me, but this is right next to the plant I was showing you. And there's all sorts of um, little web I'm having trouble getting it to focus on the webs they're there even if you can't see them that's the point of spider webs <laughs> so just because we use native plants doesn't automatically protect them from pests right so even my salvia waverly has been really affected The damage kind of shows up differently on each one of the various plants. And you got to realize I'm a complete beginner and I don't really know what I'm doing. This is another salvia waverly where you can see quite a bit of leaf damage. And then when I notice the, the spider web mixed in with the leaf damage, definitely makes you wonder is the spider mix? And then you can see all this webbing back in here. And I mean, like seriously, I just blasted 
follow these plants pretty recently so that they've come back that fast. Is not good. I feel like I should really make it clear that I am a beginner at gardening and I know very little. I was seeing this spider web in here and so I wanted to check out to see um, if it was spider mites and I looked under the leaves and they looked fine, you know. So we say we look under the leaf, it looks fine, everything's good, the leaf colors are pretty. And I, oh, sorry. Well, what I was going to explain was that there was actually a spider there. And I have just ruined his spider web. Hey, it's about 8.30, so I'm outside ready to release a beneficial insect. So the first one I'm going to do is going to be these These are, um, you know, not for <laughs> the the mites I've been talking so much about, but they could work. I can see that mites are here, but that's not the same as spider mites. It's a general purpose. They are beautiful, aren't they? The little green sprites. They look ready to go, don't they? So roses are a good spot to deal with the uh, for aphids and stuff. So I'm just going to let some of them, oh, oh, I'm sorry guys, oh they did not, they did not like that. So I'll put some of them out. We're storing all the moths right now. The light. Come on, guys. Here we go. Hmm. Maybe a little more we can put the hand. There you go. Oh, there we go. I want to be gentle. Go on me. You can go. Fly and be free. Come on. Well, I will continue working on this and distribute them around. Oh, they're starting to go. Oh. All right, now we're ready to get moving on the spider mites. So this is our triple threat with the spider mite destroyer being number one. And um, not many in here. So I had to use them really sparingly. I'm trying to see them. I'm like, are they the little dark spots? Or is that something they've left behind? They were moving earlier. Well, we'll see. And then there's uh, all of these things too. So I'm gently mixing these before dispersing per the directions. Out to the worst spot. Right, let's try this. It is a little salt shaker. Two things. That's great. That's really cool. So let's do the same thing again with this one. As you can see, this is a shaker as well, so I'll just repeat that again. I 
and so on. Now we're going for this. And there's so few in here for our, our um, spider mite destroyer that I want to make sure I'm real careful. Got some sort of paper fill. Put it in the west and turn it upside down and tap gently. Where I want them. Honestly, I can't tell what's happening. Not that any of them are coming out. <sighs> Open container sheet onto foliage. All right, well, I'm just gonna, and it does say afterwards, you know, leave the container upright um, to release the remaining beetles. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use both hands up to shake the rest out. Well, got most of them out. See a few more that I'll leave the container here, but I got to say I'm a little worried. Couldn't see them falling out, so don't know that I distributed them well. And um, I definitely needed them to go around a number of places in the yard, so. And this was the big one that I was hoping would work. I'm a little worried. Let's see how it goes. Well, I don't think that nighttime gardening is for me. That was a bit much. I'm really hoping these beneficial insects will help restore balance to my yard and get rid of the pests and allow the wildlife I do want to thrive here. Thanks for joining me. Live in love with life every day. This has been Alive with Aaliyah. I'm Aaliyah. Good night.